Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Maria from Under the Night Moon, and I'm so excited to finally um, do a flip through for you of my Christmas journals. Um, I'm so excited also that these are both ready and it's December 1st. And um, the flip through for this one will be in the next video. Um, but this was the first one that I made and I absolutely love every single paper in this book and the way it came out. I think it's so beautiful. And um, yeah, so let me just go ahead and show you. The dimensions are eight and a quarter by five and a half. And I am trying to do like the waterfall kind of style, just different size papers. Um, and just having fun with that. Um, this book has one signature sewn in and the spine is reinforced with this really pretty golden embroidered fabric here. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I did a really fun reel um, of this book as I was making it and I love the, the way it, it, it came out finished. Um, it does have this little Velcro closure here um, and there's plenty of room for this to grow as you fill it up. Just, you've got at least two inches. Um, and this is just a simple piece of red velvet. And then I attach this diamond button to the center of the um, poinsettia and then just kind of reinforced it with a little Velcro there. And that's it, just a very simple closure. And then on the cover is, um, Double, um, at Michael's you can buy heavy duty cardstock. And so this cover is actually cardstock and then I glued it onto the heavy cardstock to make this cover. And you can see, if I open it, that the cover is right here. And this cover is from the Paper Cameo and it's just absolutely stunning. I used her, Christmas Digitals and also um, the Pixie Dust Files. I've got Amity Bloom in here and Ruby and Pearl. Uh, so everybody's here um, and I'm just so grateful for these designers and their papers to um, help me create these beautiful books. Um, of course, you can see I've done the golden embossing um, and actually the cover is a little window and what I did was I cut the window out and I left this plain because maybe you want to put a photo there um, and you could just simply trace this image here. Um, but I attached this beautiful image of the Holy um, of Jesus and a beautiful, it's just beautiful. I don't know how to describe it, but, um, and then this is backed on um, double-sided cardstock gorgeous red seam binding bow and then a really pretty kind of reminded me of a star but this antique little I think it's an earring not quite sure I know it's a brooch um, and then this has been um, covered in glassy accents so it's um, very durable and of course won't get scratched up and the glitter will stay put and I just love the way this came out this is very sturdy um, just like the cover here and it just very simply slides right in like so and you have to make sure you go over the little cardstock bump there but basically that's how that works there and I love the way that came out and then inside on the cover uh, Ruby and Pearl has this gorgeous image um, with this beautiful Christmas poem I thought that was very fitting to have on the other side of um, Jesus here. And then some beautiful papers. I've got some gorgeous brocades, some lace, some bridal lace, um, this fun little tassel. And then um, the um, very first page is this gorgeous rose. And then I did attach um, a really beautiful foiled piece of vellum. I just think it's gorgeous, perfect for Christmas. Beautiful angel um, tag here with um, this beautiful piece of lace I got at the antique market here. 
Um, and what I love about this lace is it's actually from a mantilla, which are the lace veils that women wear um, during mass. Um, but it had two big holes, um, so I purchased it. So it wouldn't, um, you know, be thrown away. And the embroidery is so absolutely beautiful that um, I'm just trying to repurpose these beautiful flowers. Um, and I thought that was very fitting for the Christmas book here. Um, this little tag is backed double-sided and it just has a simple ribbon and a rose. And then um, throughout this book, I did have fun with some of my um, die cuts. I think just a beautiful photo here would be beautiful. This would make a really fun gift tag. Um, just some things for the owner to play with, including this fun little um, pom-pom paper clip. And then just some trims and things here um, to make it fun. And then, um, hold on one second. My door is open. I think I have to close the door. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, and then this is just some of the beautiful papers and things um, that I used to make this book here. Some gorgeous embossed little belly band here some golden trims i'm not sure if the camera's picking up everything here um and then this is a beautiful letter printed on this really fun um the linen paper ready for a beautiful christmas story and that just goes in this pocket here and then some pixie dust files her christmas um, imagery is so absolutely beautiful. If you haven't been to her shop, you must go see her digitals. Look how beautiful the layering and the images that she uses are just, I just can't say enough things about um, her digitals and how I just love each and every one. So those go tucked in there. And of course, lots of room in these pockets and things for more. Um, and then this gorgeous reprint here, and then I added this really fun um, golden embossing here. Um, and it's a little flip over. And then when you flip it over is another beautiful um, antique image of the baby Jesus being born and um, some more gold embossing there. And then you open to this beautiful um, paper from Amity Bloom here. And I thought this was just uh, perfect and beautiful for Christmas. And those just go like so. And then um, this is actually a nice size pocket here. A lot of pockets in this book for you to store your Christmas papers, um, recipes, um, little gift cards and gifts. Maybe you um, receive some really beautiful Christmas cards. You can always um, tip them in on these pages with a little bit of washi. Um, of course, journaling, um, yeah. Um, here is another beautiful, um, uh, I don't know what you call it, like, so it's a pocket, but I die cut, well, it's a pocket, and what I did was I removed the circle, or the center was a little girl's face, um, and then I added this journaling card for you, um, but you could certainly put your picture on top of here, journal around it, and then you have this fun little window here. Hope that describes that well. And then I embossed with the gold, these beautiful wreaths all around the card, just for some extra um, dimension and design and texture. And I'm just, I love the gold embossing. To me, like every page that I work on, I could do the gold embossing. <laughs> Um, yeah. And then inside this little page, again, another little pocket with some journaling cards. Um, like I said, lots of room for more things and, um, beautiful Christmas cards that you received could be tucked in here, little notes, um, beautiful little, um, fussy cut angel here. And then I did find some antique, um, bells at the antique market. And so I, um, added those as well. Um, this is for Elise, the Beethoven Sonata. Um, and I thought a little Beethoven could be fun for Christmas. And then I made um, the other side this beautiful embossed pocket. 
And then I gave you a really gorgeous foil frame and a picture of Mary. This is from the digital kit in my Etsy shop that was made for me by Debrina at the Pixie Dust Files. And isn't it beautiful? I never get tired of her digitals. And if you haven't been to my shop, I'll put a link down below for this digital um, that she created just for me in my shop. It's just the most beautiful gift. I absolutely love it. And um, she knows how much I love it. And it's just one of the most beautiful gifts everyone, anyone's ever given to me, really, is um, that digital set for my shop. Um, mainly because people can use these digitals for their own prayer cards through my shop, through her. I just think that's so beautiful. And the imagery, I just, I just can't even, I just don't have words for how much, like, for just how beautiful um, this is to me. So another thank you for you, Debrina, if you're watching. Um, and then moving right along, just some really fun heavy duty pink cardstock. Another little pocket here. This is a beautiful um, tag from the paper cameo. Just gorgeous. You can see the gold embossing up above there. More Amity Bloom. And then this is just a little tag that I made um, backed with some vintage book pages. This is a book, um, and I got this at the antique market too. It's on um, like manners. It's just funny. Um, but I made this little tag and then it's a little pocket. I put a little baby tag in there. And then another beautiful die cut cross to just kind of go in there quietly. And then I made a little charm for the outside. Just dress it up a little bit. And then on the other side, just more pixie dust files. Beautiful, beautiful Christmas papers. Just perfectly done, perfectly aged. Um, and then some wallpaper. This is more from the pixie dust files. Fun little tabs. Um, this is um, a beautiful little antique church scene. And then I just tucked another little digi um, digital from the Pixie Dust Files. And then I just added this little bow. And then a pair of, um, just a pair of fun wings for you um, to play with that are embossed. I thought that went well with the angel there. On the other side, look at this rose paper. This is from um, one of the Pixie Dust Files' newest collections, and I will put a link down below for this because when I saw this rose paper, I literally just couldn't believe how absolutely beautiful um, these roses are. They're sort of like engraved, which I love, like the black and white engraving, and then they've been colored. Just gorgeous. I knew that was going into my Christmas book. <laughs> um, and then the center of the signature are these little polka dotted pockets that I made just out of some scrapbook paper. And there's little, <coughs> oh, excuse me. There's a little um, corner pocket um, on each side. And then inside each one of these pockets, I made these fun little tags backed with the etiquette book you can see there this is about speaking and <laughs> it's just funny i had to purchase that book because it just it's fun you don't come across etiquette books um every day and of course had the perfect um you know aging and patina that you look for when you're looking for like a vintage book like it just had the, the prettiest color to it um, little belly bands here, just some fun little tags, gorgeous reprints, and um, just ribbons and things. This side has this gorgeous little tag. And I've stitched around these and then backed it with the etiquette book. And that just kind of goes right inside there. On the other side, little um, reprint from Ruby and Pearl. And then more of that gorgeous rose paper. Just stunning, absolutely stunning. And then a little ruffle, another little tag sewn, some beautiful uh, music paper from the Pixie Dust Files, and then some of this brocade fabric that I'm just obsessed with right now. 
and I made that a little pocket there. A gorgeous um, postcard here from Ruby and Pearl, and then that's a little flip up. And then underneath there is another little vellum flip over. Just love this vellum paper. And then that comes down like so. And oh, I didn't know if I mentioned this beautiful golden um, trim there, the Dresden trim. Um, let's see, the other side of this has um, a little Christmas rose, little embroidered flowers, a little flip over for some secret journaling. The other side of that beautiful paper, just gorgeous papers from the Pixie Dust Files there. Here's the other side of that pink. And then this is one of my favorite layouts of this whole journal. And I love the blue. I love the embossing of the gold. And I just love this pop of color that um, you wouldn't think would match, but I just think it goes so beautifully with all the roses. I made a beautiful blue charm down below with a little crystal bead. And then this is Amity Bloom's newest collection here. And then I just packed this little pocket with all the little tags that come with it. And you can see she gives you all these beautiful little tags. I just love the blue. And then one of my little die cut um, scallop tags. And then um, more from the paper cameo. And that goes in there. And then this is just a little scrap but I think for journaling is perfect. Really pretty little um, bow. And then that completes the blue. So sorry if I'm not in focus there. Uh, the other side of the fur Elise, and you can see I added some beautiful journaling cards and um, plenty of room for more in this beautiful embossed cardstock. And then on the other side, um, another one of the paper cameos tags. And then um, I did emboss this image, all the candles, her little horn and um, little crown. There's a little baby deer right there. Just a really sweet little um, antique image. And then this is the last few pages here are um, also from Amity Bloom and Ruby Pearl and just some beautiful um, places for you to journal. I've got this gorgeous pom-pom trim. I'm just infatuated with this color. It's so beautiful and bright. And then um, this is more from the Paper Cameos Christmas collection. Just gorgeous. How beautiful to journal on this beautiful paper. And then the Pixie Dust Files here with the more brocades. And then um, another really fun die cut to go behind the three kings here. And I embossed Mary and their crowns and the little star above, the sea and Christmas. And then another piece of this really cool, really um, heavy duty brocade. I just love these nighttime colors. I thought it was perfect for the kings. Um, and it's hard to find good imagery of the kings. I'm always on the search for those. And then um, another nice size um, pocket here. And I added this lovely amaryllis. And then plenty of journaling. Of course, any type of gel pen would look really cool on this green paper. And then I added just these fun little tabs, kind of let you know that this is a pocket here. Plus I love the way that blue shines. And then um, this image is so beautiful. It's from Amity Bloom's newest collection. And I knew right away that this was gonna be in my Christmas book. It's just a gorgeous winter scene with beautiful birds and roses. And it just has everything that I love. And then her envelope. And I love to add envelopes to the ending um, ending parts of my journal for extra pictures and this has a little piece of velcro I did the rose pattern on the inside and it's just a really beautiful envelope for you to fill with all kinds of Christmas um, memories and beautiful things of your own 
And then um, one more tag from the paper cameo. And then a gorgeous Christmas card that I've had for a long time. It's just beautiful. I love the colors and the imagery. And so I put that in the back little pocket here. And then the cover is the backing for the cover. And that has just a beautiful tag above. And one of my favorite Christmas images from Ruby and Pearl is this rose. And then a really piece of beautiful Anna Griffin paper to journal on. And I'm probably going to add one more little charm right here. Um, you can see my signature here. And that concludes the flip through of Christmas book number one. And I absolutely love the way this book came out and the way you close it. And I like to close it down here is you wrap this over and then just bring the flower over like so. And that's the final flip through. Thank you so, so very much for watching and hanging out. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, um, don't hesitate to leave them for me down below. Um, the pictures and listings are all in my Etsy shop now if you're watching this video. Um, just thank you so, so very much again for following me. Of course, you can follow me on Instagram, Under the Night Moon. Um, and just thank you for, uh, for your support. Um, I'm very grateful. And um, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye for now.